Marianna Thompson is not obviously disabled, but she has had muscle diseases that left her very weak and in need of a service dog. As we showed you in this 2006 feature story, Thompson is also trained to service dogs for others. Today, Thompson no longer needs a dog, but remains an advocate for those who do. And she admires any disabled person who stands up for her rights to enter a business with a service animal. It takes a lot of courage to, one, go out when you have a disability. It takes a lot of strength and energy. People feel like they're being uh, stared at anyway. Thompson says she was rarely challenged by a business owner about her dog, but when she was, she would state that the dog was there to assist her with her disability. And that's all the law required her to reveal. If the person still wants to deny me access, I ask them specifically, are you denying me access? Um, I have never had anybody say no at that point. Um, but if they were to say no, I would ask them to call the police. Thompson usually carried information with her about the ADA law so she could refer to it if she was refused access. She also kept her dog well-groomed and well-behaved to make it easier for the next person with a service dog. Still, she says a few people simply don't want animals in their businesses. Not everyone feels that an animal should be in a restaurant. Um, and it's something that it's just going to take time to change.